Our next guest says the trade war with China is bad for his customers. Our guest is Joe Kasuchi, FJM Ferro founder and CEO. First of all, you're a steel company, right? Yes, I am. You're still manufacturer. I'm a steel manufacturer and installer. So we actually fabricate the steel and install the steel. Okay. You tell me what negative impact the tariffs or threat of tariffs have had so far on your company. Okay. Well, thanks for having me here. Always great to see you guys. One, it's like I've said before, it's both good and bad. We have this great potential of wonderful contracts coming in, awards coming in immediately, right? We have such an insurgence of awards. However... Is, is that a rush to beat price increases? Yes, it is. That's what it is. So you've got a rush of business coming at you. Right. That's the good. That's the good. What's now, the bad? Now, the bad is trying to buy this, being able to be able to buy this, be able to store this, be able to actually have this somewhere so that when the time comes where this contract is actually going to be enacted, where we actually execute this work, we are able to carry this. Otherwise, that price will continue to slide forward. Right now, we're at a stabilized point, but where, if, if what, what's going on here, kind of a scenario. But prices have gotten to an all-time high for steel. All, oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, um, how much have they gone up this year? 36% some components, 45% oh. in others. And is this because of the very strong economy or because of the threat of tariffs? It's the threat of tariffs. That's what's done it. Well, yeah, because now we're not allowing well, imported steel anymore. Aren't you happy? I mean, <laughs> you, you mean <laughs> price is an all-time high. You've got contracts coming out of the wazoo at you, and uh, you're not sure you can fulfill them all. You should be happy. I am happy. But <laughs> <laughs> I am happy, but I'm also, at the same time, you know, kind of nervous about it at the same time, because we have to buy this. Every incremental margin that we miss on this is an actually catastrophic amount of money. It's, yeah. I don't we, understand. I'll give you an example. Um, you can miss a few cents per pound on a building that weighs, you know, has about six, six million pounds of steel. So add that up and you're losing 120 to $250,000 depending on the, what kind of components you're using. That's a relatively large amount of money there. Why would you lose that money? Because of the timing of when we can buy. See, most companies are only allowed a uh, certain amount of credit. Okay, so you, you don't cr make the steel, no. you buy it and then install it. Yes, I do. So you're downstream, so to speak. I am sort of the end user, price. yes. But you do regard tariffs as a necessary evil yes, I do. to combat the China and yes. fix them all up? I've, I've said it, you know, it's a uh, short-term game, long, uh, short-term pain, long-term game mm. scenario here. I mean, how do we, we have to keep this in the U.S., I agree. I, but you would like to see it over? Yeah. <laughs> Big time. Be nice. But you'd like the prices to stay yeah. up there, wouldn't you? Yes. <laughs> Joe, thanks for joining us. We always appreciate it. Thank Good you. Good to see you again.